Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're having a great day. Let's get right into the video, like always. I just want to point out before we get too far into the video, when I went into the replay mode, we were on red team, so the enemies are actually going to be on the blue team, so just watch out for that. So far, this character has been a ton of fun, but bear with me, I do make some mistakes, but this was still an incredible game. I went 18 and 1, my team did incredible, and just, we moved as a unit pretty much the entire time, so. Boom, right there, first mistake. I honestly, I have no idea what happened here. Uh, I'm still getting used to the shield. <laughs> Ramatra's main attack being the Void Accelerator, I, I kind of like it. it. It's got no damage fall off, which is kind of crazy. Alright, so that puts me at 1 for 3 for successful shield play. I get a little bit better at it throughout the video. I want to start working on Ramatra's root ability because it can honestly be so powerful in certain situations. As you can see, I kind of just throw it out there. I, I kind of just wasted it there. I'm not really too happy with that, honestly. Let's talk about this shit, man. Nemesis form? This dude is insane. He just punches forward with four arms and he just does so much damage. It's destructive. See right there, I'm really happy with that sucky sucky, the, the ability that Ramatra has. Of course, you know once it's time to press Q, we're pressing Q, we're hitting that ultimate and we're using all four fists. But sadly, we destroyed everybody pretty much instantly and that means that my ultimate goes away pretty much instantly. What I personally really love about this character is the fact that you can burn somebody down from a distance. And once you get that distance closed, it's over. You know, you go into your you go into your form, you just keep punching until there's no more punching left. Of course they rip our healers and that's the story. First and only death here, of course, there's nothing you can do about it when Bastion do be blasted. Bastion do be blasting all the fucking time, and if you're in his way, there's not much you can do about it. In this situation, I truly have no idea what the fuck is going through Bastion's head. Uh, we just burned him down. Yeah, they're mercy. Yeah. So while their team is getting back together and figuring out how to push us, I thought I'd go over some of the stats that I got during this game. As you can see, the pummel accuracy of 61%, it's almost impossible to miss. And with a cooldown of 8 seconds, that's crazy uptime. I mean, you can put out so much damage if you're using it efficiently. I hear Bastion go into his little mode, so I give it a second, let him get out some bullets, and then I'm, I just rush him, take him right out. Useless ult here, I'm not gonna lie, do not take notes from this, this was pretty sad. I thought I would at least get somebody stuck in it, but it was just... Of course, if you're getting poked from range with Ramatra, you can just look at them and poke them right away. You gotta love to see it. I was excited because one of the enemies switched to Pharah, but I ended up just missing the rude. She just blown up. Ah, it was terrible. I'm so disappointed. But we absolutely laser her with the Void Accelerator, and finally she ends up killing herself with an explosion? This right here gives me so much joy. I, I destroy the demon, the baby demon jumps out and it's just oof, oof, oof. Of course I gotta add in the play of the game. I also want to put in a special appreciation section for all the homies that comment and like and just watch all the time. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Have a great day. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.